We're feeling swift, but we not Taylor. We bring the edge, cause we got Acer. Yo, who right one this grip? Damn hot sell, eh? Is it you? You right? Are hey, you right though, or salesman? Huh? Jokes aside, this laptop weighs only 1.17 kilograms but houses a 16-inch 4K OLED screen. Jenna Amain, crazy right? So is the Acer Swift Edge a laptop that is tailor-made for work and school, get it? Is it going to give you an edge over your peers, get it? One thing for sure is that you won't have to wait for hours in line for this Swift concert. Let's check out and review Acer's latest anti-hero in their laptop lineup. Very anti-hero man, this thing. Looks so sleek, huh? Also don't look at Batman. Black black like that. So don't have black black. I got black black. Oh they got the black colour, but Malaysia don't sell. Ah, that's why la the script like that. Full disclaimer, this Acer Swift Edge laptop was sent over for us to review but as usual, we reserve our right to an unbiased opinion. If you're interested in getting one of these for yourself after watching this video, it's your problem, not my problem. But feel free to hit up the links below because it will support us to make more content like this and won't cost you anything extra. Hashtag support local. Hashtag subscribe lah, wait for what? So if you're shopping for a laptop for work and school, you probably don't need a super powerful gaming laptop with a dedicated GPU. Especially if you're taking the bus or LRT because those laptops can be pretty brutal to carry around all day early. It would actually make more sense to actually lose all that extra weight. Uh, if you could save a few bucks doing so, then it's a bonus as well. Lah. Well, as long as the laptop still performs well and doesn't lag. As mentioned, today we are reviewing the Acer Swift Edge priced at a steady pom pip pip hashtag cheap by 6299 Got 6, got 9, 69. Inside, you'll find an AMD Ryzen 7 6800U CPU with 8 cores and 16 threads, uh, an integrated AMD Radeon graphics, and 16GB of DDR5 RAM that's not upgradable because it's soldered, but you can opt for 32GB at checkout if you die die need to open 69 Google Chrome tabs because you're a tab order. As for storage, we get an included 1TB M.2 NVMe SSD with an additional M.2 slot which you probably don't need because these days everybody streams everything anyways. Even you pirates I know you're streaming too. Now those specs, while pretty good, are actually nothing extraordinary. What's surprising is how they managed to fit everything, including this 4K OLED screen, into such a thin and light package. Not gone lie, this laptop on the outside looks pretty basic. The Swift Edge is squarish and flat with a bottom that has beveled edges. The chassis is made of magnesium alloy in a matte finish and only comes in flex white in Malaysia. Now this flex white, unlike the grain, is not beige or off-white. It's more a bluish teal color, kind of like the flex flower. I just had to flex my knowledge about flowers because I'm flower four. Personally, I much prefer the black version that I've seen people review on YouTube but hey, everything black black also not good ma and you might be a fan of this colour. In terms of dimensions, this laptop is 356.7mm wide, 242.3mm deep and is only 12.99mm thick. 0.01, they also wanna fight, must be very thin, look. Wow. That is actually super light considering that this is a 16-inch laptop. In fact, it is actually lighter than the latest 13-inch fruit brand Air. So you won't have to work so hard just to give all your money to Master Chris Leong. Nah, you know that chiropractor on TikTok, keep, 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 keep people's bone one. Hey, yeah, he already also gilly, but actually feel pretty nice. And yeah, this laptop is definitely extremely light. Uh, and the build quality is actually good, but not Great. Uh, overall, the construction of the chassis is pretty sturdy. Uh, there's not much flex everywhere, including the lid, which is surprising. Uh, also, the lid opens up pretty easily like that and passes the one hand opening test because the hinge is smooth and firm. And the screen wobble is also quite acceptable, if I do say so myself. That keyboard deck definitely has quite a bit of flex, which is you know, kind of a shame because overall the build quality is pretty sturdy otherwise. Um, I would rather that they actually add on a few more grams to reinforce this keyboard deck and fight for that 1.17 kilogram weight. Just add like 5 more grams whatever and then give us a much better typing experience because this laptop is still meant mostly for uh, school and work 
and the keyboard is definitely very important. Now let's talk about the keyboard. So let's talk about that keyboard. The font is simple and legible, which is great. And also the layout is pretty simple, dead center with dead spaces on both sides. I wish they would add more keys here to make it more useful for productivity purposes, but hey, you get what you get. The typing experience, as I said, not the greatest, but will do the job just fine, uh, like most productivity-based laptops. Uh, you also get this very dim backlight, which is very standard and very wide, still going to be able to help you see in the dark in case you cannot see. But the contrast between the white font and the black keys is already helping quite a bit in terms of legibility even without the back lid, so that's great. Next, we have the trackpad which is fairly large, pretty smooth, nothing to complain here. Uh, also, the clicks feel relatively nice and responsive, so that's nice. Uh, but since this is a productivity laptop, you know, if you want to get the job done faster, just use a mouse lap. Hashtag mouse master race. Anyways, just check out this sound test for your reference. Now let's talk about the screen, which I already mentioned is a 16-inch 4K OLED display. It has 3840 by 2400 pixels in a 16 by 10 aspect ratio. So that will actually give you a little bit more vertical screen real estate. But overall, the screen is plenty big enough for you to do things like working on your page presentation deck in Google Slides or rushing your final year research paper in Google Doc or Word document if you are an uncle or even take the zoom meeting while playing minesweeper on the side don't worry i won't tell your boss if you subscribe to our youtube channel ah. the 60 hertz refresh rate is pretty standard um not necessary to be any faster for productivity kind of workload so that's great as you can see the colors are rich and accurate and Acer states that this screen covers 100% of the DCI P3 color gamut which is the digital cinema standard like I mentioned many many times before here's our test uh, to verify those claims uh, in terms of peak brightness this screen can go up to 500 nits which is actually pretty good and should be suitable for most uh, lighting conditions indoors and outdoors however because this is an OLED screen um, it can be a little bit reflective as you can see in the black black parts you know where my face here you can see my face inside like it's a mirror uh, outside of darker areas on the screen it won't be that evident lah. so this screen will be great for working and also watching Netflix and YouTube everywhere uh, except for super bright areas so that's great since this is a productivity laptop, Acer has upgraded the webcam from 720p to 1080p. Uh, it's pretty good. Uh, the only downside is the fact that it doesn't support facial recognition. But in case your face got problem and it doesn't work half the time, at least there is fingerprint reader. So just use your finger, thumbprint. I see also use thumbprint. Man. Anyways, this is how the webcam looks and sounds like. Cause I... Remember every time On these days I feel like you and me Heartbreak anniversary Do you ever think of me? Ooh. And cause I think of you, think of you Next, let's talk about audio. Now the upward firing speakers on this laptop is, well, Right. In terms of sound signature, it leans more towards the brighter side. The treble and the upper mids are pretty clear. Um, but there is a lack of a bottom end, which makes everything sound a little thin in my point of view. Uh, also, the sound stage and stereo imaging is pretty below average. If you care about your audio experience and you want it to match the quality of this screen and don't bottom steam, then I would highly recommend that you use your headphones or even external speakers. Uh, yeah, just take a listen now. Uh.
In terms of I.O. ports, we get two USB 3.2 Gen 1 Type-A ports and two USB 3.2 Gen 2 Type-C ports as well as a 3.5mm headphone jack because the speakers are not that great and a full-size HDMI port which is extremely useful for work and school in case you go to uni or classroom or office and they don't have Chromecast and you have to jack it in uh, to do your presentation and stuff like that so that's pretty handy. The battery life is also surprisingly good considering that the battery here is just a 54 watt hour lithium ion battery. Don't forget this is a 4K OLED screen which sucks up power like nobody's business. It's probably because that uh, AMD processor inside is very power efficient. Uh, we got 8 to 9 hours of local video playback at medium brightness so that's very impressive. Remember, it needs to be portable. No use if the laptop very light but then you need to find power plug every 5 seconds because your battery running out. Now let's move on to the numbers starting with productivity and application benchmarks. Firstly, let's take a look at Puget Bench. As you can see, the Acer Swift Edge performs okay when running software like Photoshop or uh, Premiere Pro but it's definitely not made for heavier creative workloads due to the lack of a discrete GPU. Cinebench scores show us a clearer indication of how the Ryzen 7 6800U actually performs, which is almost on par with the 6800H in single core Core, but about 20 plus percent worse in multi-core workloads, which is impressive given how efficient these CPUs are with a TDP of only 15 to 28 watts. 7-Zip also performs pretty well, especially in the decompression ratio where AMD normally shines. All in all, this laptop is going to perform well for office productivity and school with researching and opening multiple tabs of uh, Google Chrome in mind, uh, as well as the casual video edit. Now let's take a look at gaming benchmarks. So you shouldn't expect much from this laptop as you can see from the 3D Mark scores. AAA titles like Shadow of the Tomb Raider or like Horizon Zero Dawn can only be playable uh, at 60 plus FPS in 720p with lowered settings. But you can definitely occasionally take a break or chui tulang and play less demanding competitive titles like Valorant uh, at 1080p. Finally, we have the thermals and acoustics. Now this Acer Swift Edge can definitely handle the heat only going slightly above 40 degrees Celsius around the WASD region when uh, we're doing the ADA64 stress test. This means that you'll only feel a slight warmth at your fingers but nothing alarming for sure. In terms of power consumption, it only maxed out at 46 watts while plugged in uh, which is pretty great. Uh, gaming drew up to 52 watts because of that you know, iGPU action which is still pretty decent. Taking a look at acoustics or how noisy this laptop is, this laptop is quiet AF which was the only thing that I was worried about with a thin and light laptop like this. Even at max load, it never goes beyond 46 dBs. Your girlfriend's nagging confirm louder. If if you got girlfriend lah, uh, but no girlfriend never mind, at least you got your mother to nag you. Here's a recap of the pros, mess and cons of the Acer Swift Edge. I give this Acer Swift Edge a hashtag cheap buy, one hand can open, so light it almost can take flight, 8 out of 10. If you are looking for a laptop that looks pretty good, has great battery life so you're not stuck to the wall plug, also uh, it's pretty light so it won't break your back and doesn't lag, huh? And this could be a good option for you if you are looking for one for work and also for school. Also, don't forget this is a 4K OLED screen. You know? I bet your TV or not even OLED. You can use this to watch Netflix and chill, but not, don't chill in the haram way. And also watch YouTube tutorials to, you know, meningkatkan your ilmu, you know, upgrade your knowledge. Huh? Then it's great, you know. Uh, parents out there, buy this for your kids. Their eyes won't spoil OLED, ma. Color accuracy very accurate. So when they see things, color not sang it. Ah. And that's everything I have to say about this laptop. If you still want to pick one of these up, feel free to check out the links in the description because it will help support us to make more content like this and it won't cost you anything extra. If you thought this video was helpful, don't forget to like and share. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit that notification bell to see more content like this. Also, feel free to follow us on Facebook, TikTok and Instagram to see more shenanigans from the Mob House crew. Again, my name is Bang Sawan Shade and I will see you in the next one. Nah. Take. Take la, take.